For hundreds of years, silicosis has been a serious occupational health issue for workers in mining, quarrying, stone cutting, stone grinding, and other occupations where crystalline silica dust is generated. In fact, silicosis was first identified in 1705 by Bernardino Ramazzini of Italy, considered the founder of occupational industrial medicine, who noticed sand-like substances in the lungs of stone cutters. While most of the stone cutting in Ramazzini's day was done by hand, the incidence of silicosis grew rapidly years later when industrialization was added to the mix, as you can see in these early U.S. Department of Labor movies. Today, silicosis, which can be disabling and debilitating, is the most common occupational lung disease worldwide. It is especially common in developing countries, where modern control technologies are not fully deployed, afflicting millions of workers. Dr. Peter Mazone is a specialist in pulmonary and critical care medicine at the world-renowned Cleveland Clinic. He says silicosis is developed by the victim inhaling very small, unseen particles of crystalline silica. The particles travel very deep into the lungs, where they get lodged and cause some inflammation. Like most places in the body, inflammation can ultimately lead to some scarring. And if you get scarring deep down in the lungs, then that can lead to breathing difficulties. Many people develop silicosis that we only see on a chest x-ray that never really bothers them with symptoms. However, when symptoms do develop, the most common ones would be a cough and shortness of breath. Dr. Mazone says that the most common form of silicosis requires prolonged exposure to crystalline silica, which in the natural stone industry comes primarily from cutting or grinding granite, slate, or other quartz-containing materials without the proper controls or personal protective equipment. However, there are situations in which you can get a very short-term but high-intensity exposure that leads to disease much quicker. Short or long-term, those who get scars in their lungs can get very, very sick and develop shortness of breath that limits their ability to maintain normal activities or, in a worst-case scenario, maintain life. Symptoms of silicosis manifest themselves depending upon the severity of the disease, but can include fever, cough, weight loss, loss of appetite, severe breathing difficulty, trouble sleeping, chest pain, and nails with a bluish tint. There are four types of silicosis. Chronic, which as Dr. Mazone says, can come after 20 years of exposure. Asymptomatic, in which early cases of the disease do not present any symptoms accelerated that develops five to ten years after high exposure to silica dust. Symptoms include severe shortness of breath, weakness, and weight loss. And finally, acute silicosis, which develops a few months to two years after exposure to very high concentrations of silica dust, causing disabling shortness of breath, weakness, and weight loss, often leading to death. Unfortunately, there is no cure for silicosis. The best treatment is prevention, so that's avoiding the exposure. Once the aggressive form of silicosis happens, the scarring in the lung progresses, we do not have any effective medications to halt that.